Today we're switching things up a bit. In a couple of hours, my flight leaves Orlando, preferably with me on board. So, after reparking the car, I had two missions to accomplish before the flight was scheduled to leave. Eating dinner and getting to the lounge. Today's flight goes to Norway, a country I haven't visited properly before. Just had a layover in. At 19.40 tonight, the plane leaves Arlanda for about an hour trip, gate to gate. There were a lot of people in the airport, since almost all traffic is limited to Terminal 5. Except Ryanair, I think. It was a great day to have fast track. I only had one person in front of me, instead of a 45 minutes long queue. Still not having accomplished any of my set out missions, I headed for the lounge, for a snack and seating. The queue was so long, I had to try again later. No fast track over here. So I went to Max and ordered the... No chicken. It was very pleasant for being fast food. Living outside Sweden, haven't tried Max? Hang in there. After some plane spotted from the terminal, I went for a third attempt to get into the lounge. This time I patiently waited in line and got in after about 20 minutes or so. The lounge has a decent selection of mostly cold foods, snacks and beverages with my personal favorite, water. Today's flight is being carried out by a 50 year old Adrian 19 with a SAS retro livery. The lounge in itself felt very Scandinavian as SAS also does on board. Hi there, hi there. Uh, I just walked into one of those uh, phone rooms, so don't uh, disturb everyone with my uh, kind of broken voice. Uh, as you might hear, it isn't completely on, on edge today. I can make sounds if I really try to, but uh, it was a couple of instances today when I'm gonna try and give it like, a nice polite comment, like uh, thank you or uh, have a great day. It just sounded like a shy squirrel. But now anyways, I'm gonna get, get to the gate, because we're boarding in about an hour. As the plane began its approach, I went to the gate to make use of my priority boarding and try to get on early. Plane looks good. If you saw day one, you might know that I have no bag, except the carry-on. As you can see by the empty boarding gate, I'm either first or last. Apparently the pilot thought I was someone else. I wonder what would have happened if I just went with it. The two seats next to me remained empty for the rest of the flight, which was very convenient. As usual, a very fresh Scandinavian design in the cabin. Right, we're now on board here. So uh, I have a good view. Seat uh, 3A, 3 Alpha. Okay, very soon, our cabin tennis. We worked our way up to flight level 380, 3800 feet, which we only cruised for about 6 minutes. They started the snack service, but missed me, so on their way back to the front, my voice cut out, but I managed to get out a chilly whisper. One nut. He asked me if I didn't want the whole bag instead. I was now ready for the stand. Okay, let's see if we find a way out here. I think I'm going for a cab today. So we'll uh, get to find them. Get to, well, I hope we do. Right, it's really fresh air here. Thank you. It's really fresh air. It happened again. What a great flight. Now we're in Uspa. Let's see if we can find a way out here. And I saw that there was an option to add like 100 kroner, $10 or so to get the Model Y, one of my dream cars, so I did it. 
You see my taxi coming here? Hello. It was a super fresh Tesla cab, new from March. Very kind and helpful driver who let me film and helped me figure out tomorrow's logistics. I almost accidentally forgot to pay, which would have been suboptimal. Nej, tack. Ha en bra kväll. Tack. We made it. This place looks great. What a hidden place. It's cheaper than it's in, in the town as well, so I don't know how. That's great. First impressions of the hotel were awesome. It really seemed like newly built modern and just all around a good hotel as the booking site suggested for very welcoming, more than on many other places. First impressions is really great. Let's see what the room looks like. For me, top 3 hotel in terms of the hotel itself. I got floor 5 of 5, quite a difference from yesterday's minus 1 of 9. Is it just me or is this elevator like from the view? My room key didn't work the first time, but was easily resolved by the kind staff who didn't leave me waiting. Entering the room, it was small, but not less than I needed. One person room with a massive bed. Room felt very clean in both terms. The bed had a unique, a bit thicker fabric, much preferred of the usual I'm used at hotels. Classic uncomfortable hotel chair was instead a nice one. I got a small balcony. Somehow, this hotel was one of the cheaper options for my stay. Almost half the price compared to the city center's average hotel. Just half an hour train ride to Oslo. Time to sleep. Tomorrow we're heading into Oslo for a guided tour and some other plans. So subscribe to not miss out on that.